got to ask on behalf of MG. He's on the bandwagon. As soon as the sign went on Saturday, he had his hat on. He had it up on the social media. He was on the bandwagon. Um, he wanted me to ask, is there any chance that Shane Mumford's ticket allocation isn't exhausted yet? And is there a chance that MG could be could be grab one of those tickets? Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah why not? Yeah. Tell him to get in contact with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know he will. <laughs> Look forward to it. Have all your tickets been um, given out? Yeah, they've, Yeah, I think it was basically just... Give me your best case, put your best case forward, and um, the family will deliberate. But no, it wasn't like that. It was, it was just, I think, yeah, obviously the main family, and then I think we'll try and get a couple mates as well. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting. So that's a no for MG, though? Yeah. That's all right. Sorry, MG. I tried. I really did try. Oh, definitely. And um, obviously with the new scalping laws, uh, the price is getting higher and higher. So... Um, I think I think we were allocated a few tickets, but with three thousand dollars, we'll definitely get him a ticket, ticket to the grand final. So I'm, I'm happy to, to part way, and and if it means sacrificing a family member for three thousand dollars, I'm willing to do it. I'll pass on your BSB details <laughs> so we can get that sorted out. Um, I've got all my family coming. I've got um, three brothers back at home, so they're all going to make the trip up. And which one of your brothers do you like the least? MG couldn't squeeze in for one of them. Oh, I don't know. He's still a sniff. You wouldn't know, but um. I don't know. It was li- oh, Nick, Nick he, the oldest one, he's pretty grumpy these days, so yeah, he'd probably be the least. Uh, not at the moment, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so I've, I've pretty much told um, the, man- the team manager at the club, I said just talk to my mum and uh, she'll organise everything, so right. I won't have to worry about that. Right, so there's no way MG could, be, unless MG knows your mum somehow, he's not getting a ticket. Yeah, it'd probably be a bit weird if he knows my mum. Mum hasn't brought him up, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, you know what? I'll 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 have a look. But um, yeah, it might be a little bit doubtful. Yeah. He sure was able to sell him one for three grand. Oh, you know what? I've probably got one there for five grand. <laughs> <laughs> All gone, I think. Sorry, Mark. We can we can find some. I'm sure. I'm happy to have him on the bandwagon. He's a big deal out here in the West of Sydney. Yeah, oh, I know. I know. So you'll uh, have no trouble finding some. <laughs> All right, you got Josh Kelly on the case, Mark. So it's very hard when you get given three yeah. um, only, and you've got probably at least ten to 15 in each family yeah. um, so it's hard enough just trying to get them into the ground but um, do you want to look down the camera and tell someone that they're not making the cut is there someone who's definitely not getting a ticket that you want to tell now yeah I think um, my mate my good mate Charlie Woodford he um, he always says he's my best mate but he only really messaged me around finals time um, and, and quite often asked for tickets so Charlie Woodford um, you're not coming mate <laughs>